This fall, the Mona Shores girls golf team did something that has never been done before in the history of girls golf. They won four straight Division II state titles. Here's an inside look. Um, it feels really amazing and great because I've been through so much with these girls since freshman year all the way to my senior year and you know we've been through our ups and downs together so it's just nice to win a fourth title with the girls that you've been with forever and it's nice being able to play like your favorite sport on such a great team and to like reach such great success. It feels great to win four state titles because we know that all of our Hard work has um, paid off and it feels good to win it with the three girls that I've played with since freshman year. Um, also, Riley and Meredith were a great addition to the team and we, I love them all and it's sad that it came to an end but I'm happy it ended the way it did. Well, it feels really cool just because all of us have worked so hard over the last four years and we've all been dedicated even in the off season and so it feels um, like a huge accomplishment to get four state titles, especially when very few people in the state have ever done that. It's awesome winning a four state championship because that was our goal this year to win. So that was awesome. Um, I'm glad I got to experience this with the girls this year because this was my first year joining the golf team and I'm really glad I got to, it was fun. It was a really great experience to be able to be part of the Mona Shores girls golf team winning the fourth state championship. And it was cool to make history at Mona Shores. Uh, I am just absolutely thrilled for the girls because they have really worked hard over the years uh, improving their game um, not only during the season but on the off season as well so uh, being that they've worked so hard at it and um, they're such a great group of girls I'm, I'm just really happy for them and they're very deserving of it. Uh, it's an amazing accomplishment. Uh, you go down to the record books for the, even in the high school state athletic association uh, as history uh, as being one of the very few teams to three-peat, let alone four-peat, uh, especially with four girls being a part of all four years, there are very few teams that can, uh, that can say that they've done that. Well, one of the major things that comes to my mind is uh, the weather that these girls had to play in. The eight days over the four years, uh, probably 90% of the golfers wouldn't even think of going out and playing, and it just shows how uh, you know, years and years of preparation these girls have done to prepare and the, sh the dominance that they've had. Um, it's just amazing and I appreciate uh, and very honored to be a part of it. Uh, one of the most important things we spent time in practice was working on our competitiveness and how we can translate what we practice to the golf course. Um, being in a lot of pressure situations on the golf course is tough to replicate in practice. So we spent a lot of time um, with the girls competing against each other and competing against a certain number um, of putts or of chips or a combination of the both to get them ready for the pressure they feel when they are on the golf course. Um, it's not the most exciting of sports at times, so anything we can do in practice to get the girls more interested and more interactive with each other and with the game is really important. Oh, now we're back.
I'm Haley Hironowicz for Shoreline Broadcast News.